Good evening everybody, it's Monday. I'm actually speaking to you from the future right now. This is not supposed to be in this vlog, but I was thinking about the footage from this week and a lot of it's not very positive. I was having a really bad week. I was in my own head. Um, I was feeling very, very low. And it happens to me now and again. It happens to lots of people, almost everyone. Um, but because I've chosen to document my life this year, you're gonna see the ups and downs, you know? Um, so there is some footage in here of me being quite upset. Um, not gonna go into details of a lot of it, but uh, I wanted to film this part because I wanted to tell you that I'm feeling a lot better. Not that, I mean, not that you have to care, not that, you know, I feel like I have to state that or anything, but um, what you see in this vlog is not how I am now as I'm uploading it, so. You know, I kicked my funk and I'm feeling a lot better, very productive, just made a new video, uh, made a new song last night, so everything is good. So watch this, but remember that that is now in a box and it's off the cliff, okay? I'm cool now. Um, I feel really good. I feel really fucking good, so. Enjoy, I guess. Uh, it's not, it's not the happiest content, but, you know, next week will be better, hopefully. I say that every week! <laughs> Good morning, everybody! It's a Tuesday. I know, breaking all the rules of week 14 of, you know what, say it how you want, okay? People don't agree with me. It's not like I came up with the acronym and entire series anyway, so say it how you want it. I took a day off from filming yesterday because, number one, Nothing exciting happened. Um, I drove home and wrote a song, which is good, but it's only an acoustic one for now, but I'll make it a real one. Real. You know what I mean, all right? Don't, don't at me. And secondly, I just wasn't feeling very good. Still feeling kind of blah. You know, everyone goes through these little blue periods, okay? Everyone has them. I get them too, but I feel better today. I spent a lot of yesterday tidying. I know, I actually tidied <laughs> when I said I was going to. Shocking. But right now, I need to leave because I'm off to a studio. I'm not going with Toby, I'm not going with Hutch, I'm going with a guy called Ben. He's my new MD for my tours. And we're gonna be recording the acoustic version of Dirt today. Yep, it's happening, it's officially happening. For all of you fuckers that always say, Oh, I prefer your old acoustic music. Well, here you go. This one's for you. I am fucking around. I mean, I am a little bit petty about it, but I'm mostly fucking around. Some people just prefer acoustic stuff, you know? Laid back stuff. I, I prefer the acoustic version of New Rules, but I do a leaper. But that doesn't make me a piece of shit. Does it make me a piece of shit? I don't know. Everyone's just got different tastes. And I figure it'll tie you guys over until, uh... Until the next single, which by the way, is coming along nicely. I've got the master back, so it's definitely confirmed it's the next single. And we're looking at directors. And I think I've got one in mind. I'm spending a lot more on this video, um, so that I can just be happier with it. And hopefully, you'll be happy too. Anyway, I'm late, because that's what this week is, apparently. And my arm hurts from holding this camera up, so I will see you in the studio. I haven't met Ben yet. Let's meet him together. How far down will you go on me online all the time? Can't write you back. I've gotta catch my flight. You know I got dirt on you. Don't make me spill it. I've got tea for two. And bitch, I'm gonna sip it No, you know somebody's gonna come out of this fight on top It's gonna be you with the bruises Cause I've got dirt on you <laughs> Yes, thank you <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> I've got them, I think <laughs> Okay Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me a sec now and don't do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Uh, okay. I'm back to boring now. Okay. I can't believe I just did that. Hey. So, uh, I'm 
back from the studio. You know, I only had one extra day off of vlogging and I've, I've lost all of my vlogging mojo. <laughs> I cannot get back into the swing of it. It all feels so weird. I only had one extra day. Like, God forbid I spent the bank holiday by myself. The studio went well. Um, my voice was like really <sighs> at first. That's how I describe my voice apparently. Um, but it warmed up as voices do and uh we got some good stuff out and uh the acoustic version is done on my part still needs mixing and mastering etc it's gonna be a few weeks away realistically but my part is done so it's on other people now which is my favorite i love blaming other people <laughs> so me and my 90s boy band haircut are gonna go back to essex again even though i was only there yesterday <laughs> But it's because I have that session with Pete tomorrow and it's easier and much quicker to go from my dad's to Pete's than it would be from all the way down here to, to Pete's. So uh, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go and reunite with my cat, spend the night to myself and wake up tomorrow and go to the studio. That's my night sorted. There's probably fuck all else to tell you because my life is just really dull for you right now until there's like music videos and extra stuff it's really dull for you but these weeks have to happen there there has to be the hard boring weeks to make the lively cool weeks happen right i will try and make this week interesting for you but i don't know if it will be oh that's what i was gonna say um there is a sponsored video coming out on saturday you've already seen it it's already up if you have seen it in a sub box, which is unlikely because it's fucking YouTube, um, if you have seen it and haven't yet watched it, please do. I put a lot of thought into it and I really like it. I think it's got a great message and just because it's sponsored doesn't mean that you shouldn't like it. In all like seriousness, it's a good video and it would be very nice if a brand that is helping me fund my album saw that it got good views, it might mean that I to be sponsored again that's how it works so please watch it i can't force you i would never try to force you you know if you feel like it then please give it a click there's a card up here 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 still can't work that out it's up there please click it it would mean a fucking lot to me anyway i'm gonna go i need to go to my dad's i'm gonna go and eat fish pie and play the sims i'm fascinating i know <laughs> All right, guess I'm not gonna be recording vocals then if you're gonna sit there. No, guess I just have to sit here. All right then, fine. And so you twist, insist, and turn it around, and this is it. You're like a machine always on and on repeating. So what do you want from me? And tell me how can you break my trust if you never had it but you'll do what you must become it a habit and on and on repeating so what do you want from me what do you want from me awesome yeah headphones cool sounds yeah, amazing sounds all good sounds fantastic got some good stuff in there actually. yeah let's just run some verses couldn't keep this message to yourself Sounded like a cry for help Try to turn me into someone else Someone else And it's more than a touch of deja vu Cause I know what you're trying to do Gotta stay one step ahead of you Good morning everybody It's Thursday Um I'm not having a good week <laughs> Um, just like the end of last week, where I wasn't feeling too great. This battery's gonna die. Okay. <laughs> that sums up this week for me. You know, people... I've had people say to me before, in comments and in real life, uh, when I'm, when I'm feeling like this, and I, I most definitely have these cycles quite often. Emma, you shouldn't put this side of you out there. You know, you should be positive and spreading a positive message you know no one forces you to upload when you're feeling like this so you know d d just keep it to yourself and fuck that fuck that everyone goes through 
phases. Not necessarily like depressive cycles, but when they just feel like shit, it's natural. And I feel like we are so often led to believe that being a successful adult means being happy 24 seven. You know, everything is right with the world. You are constantly happy. And if you are having a hard time, if you're feeling a bit low, then you're doing something wrong and you're not successful and you're not a decent human like everyone else. And it's bullshit, it's bullshit. The harsh reality is everyone struggles. It's natural, it's human. We all go through it and I'm not exempt from that. I would, wouldn't life be perfect, you know, if we were all exempt from feeling low or depressed, you know? It's also important to remember that, uh, and this isn't a popular thing to say, struggling is relative. Humans are the happiest when they feel as though they've accomplished something in order to survive. And a lot of the time, people who have found a really good means of living <laughs> This is, it sounds fucked and I know how fucked it sounds so don't bother telling me how privileged I am because I wouldn't give up my life for the world, I really wouldn't, I understand. Um, but this is why a lot of successful or famous people struggle with stuff. It's why they feel lonely and isolated because they've done everything and the, the brain gets idle. And then they, the only thing they can do is hone in on their flaws, what they haven't achieved. And it's important to remember, I think, that just, just depression, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't exclude people. <laughs> you know, it doesn't just, just pick and choose those without money or those failing at their goals. It doesn't discriminate. Anyone can struggle and problems are relative. That's just how brains work. Wouldn't it be a perfect world if every successful person who is depressed could just think back to when they had nothing and then suddenly they're not depressed anymore? Like, oh yeah, I'm great, never mind then, poof. But that's just not how the world works. I'm sorry, it's not. I don't have it worse than other people, but right now I'm just going through a phase where I can't concentrate on anything I can't create and everything is just getting me down every single bit of criticism is going straight here instead of just over there somewhere just not feeling my best but it's gonna go away I know that creating is my way out of this stuff and one of these days I'm gonna wake up and a song is gonna go boom and I'm gonna feel great. And I'm fortunate that I have something like that that helps me get out of this funk, you know? Because a lot of people don't have an outlet and they struggle for so long. I'm gonna be fine, but this week just sucks for you, I think. I was supposed to be in the studio today, but me and Hutch finished everything off yesterday, like vocally, and there's no need for me to be there. So <laughs> I've got the day to myself, the sun is shining. I think I'm gonna spend it with my family and then go home later tonight uh, because I need to start working on a sponsored video that they want by next week. I don't have long to do it and I think it's a cool idea. Oh, there is a sponsored video going up on Saturday as well. People are gonna hate me, but I have to make a living because YouTube ad revenue is bullshit and albums cost so fucking much. So uh, yeah. And hopefully this week I'm, I'm gonna try and film some other videos as well. You know, I've missed making videos. My cat is meowing like crazy downstairs. I'm gonna go see her. But I just thought I'd spill, I guess, why this week sucks and why last week was cut short. Might do it again this week. I don't know yet. I'll see you soon. <laughs> everybody it's friday and today i look like a pig on crack i don't know why uh just look like shit don't feel too bad though <laughs> just a positive for this week um i have a singing lesson in about an hour and a half but before that i need to go to the supermarket and i need to get some ingredients 
because I'm going to be filming Sims cooking videos soon. Today, I hope, after my singing lesson. Why are my singing lessons always slap bang in the middle of the day? It's very annoying, but oh well, it happens. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of videos to film this weekend. I have some sponsored stuff coming out. I've got some sponsored stuff to film. Hooray! I'm not going to be bankrupt after this album comes out. Always a fucking plus. Um, shout out to sponsors who actually keep me going right now until maybe the day that I hope will come where my music is self-sufficient. Anyway, uh, yeah, I need to go do that. Ugh. This week is just, my head has been in a funk all week and I just, oh, I have no spiritual energy to do anything. I've actually got physical energy for a change, I don't feel too bad, but I lack any sort of mental well-being. <laughs> You know, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Asda or something. <laughs> what a great fucking week for you guys. You must be so entertained right now. I didn't film anything today. I just spent the last maybe 20 minutes or so being really angry on camera, then crying lots on camera, and now I think I'm fine. This week, it's really sucked. I'm not gonna go into it. I'm not going to go into details because it's my private life and I'm allowed to have some things private even though I've made a living out of making things public. I'm not about to make a video of me crying on my kitchen floor. I will leave that to the professionals. But it's been a shit week. And that's fine because it's fucked up but you really do have to have the shit weeks in order to have the good weeks and appreciate them, you know? This week, again, being vague, I hit a real bad low. Really bad, you know? The good news is, I don't feel as bad now. It's like, I've, I was there, and now I'm like here. So, I'm on the up. Okay? Everything is good, and you don't have to worry about me. I'm a cockroach. You cannot squash me. I will still be here to annoy you, so don't worry about that. I just, yeah, you know, I, it's just, yeah, not gonna go into it, not gonna go into it as much as I would like to, because there's no point, there is no point. I am determined to have a better week next week. I'm gonna start on Monday smiling, happy, productive, with a tidy house. I had to spend the whole day just recuperating. I didn't get anything done today. I was on the sofa watching Orange is the New Black. And other stuff. It's funny how in a really fucked up way there are some YouTubers out there, including me in the past, who could only dream of having the most melodramatic shit to vlog about. And now I do. I don't want to share it. It's my shit. And I'm owning it. And I'm going to come out of this rut very soon, because I'm already feeling way less hopeless and way less sorry for myself than I was yesterday. Yesterday was fucking bad. But today is not yesterday and tomorrow will not be today. I'll be feeling better and more productive. And today was a complete fucking flop on my part. I really fucked up. But next week will not be a flop. Next week is going to be better I feel like I said that last week. Whoops. People have dips. That's the reality of life. Not just vloggers, just humans in general. We all have dips. Peaks and troughs, etc. Right? You're going through a trough. And that's normal. And everybody is gonna go through that. You're just seeing it on camera. Next week, well, Sunday, tomorrow is WrestleMania, so immediately my mood is up. 
Next week I'm filming another Spawn video. I am doing a press day in London, which will be super exciting. Then I have a couple of days to myself where I have to be here because my garden is a nightmare. Oh yeah, real hard life, Emma. <laughs> um, next week I need to be more productive. I need to act on the hopeless feeling I had this week. Turn it around and say, you know what? I've done better than I was doing last week. I have to break the chain and get back to work. Because this album, even though it's draining all of my savings, my mental health, and pushing me really far away from people, I have come too far with it to just run away from it now. You don't realise, actually, what an album can do. I didn't realise. I mean, I thought it was just like two EPs, you know, back to back. But this album, at least I'm choosing to blame the album because otherwise I have to blame my personality. Not quite there yet. This album is changing me. And if this is what other artists go through when they release an album, when they record one, I'm gonna look at albums in a completely different way. When you realize the outpouring that must go into, into them, and like, you know, how your favorite artist or band will release an album and then two weeks later you're kind of like over it. When you realize what that album has done to them in order to create it for you. Yeah, it's, it's fucking hard, man. It really is. And I wouldn't expect anyone who's never made one to understand. Anyway, I'm gonna end this week. Believe it or not, this is me ending the week on a high note compared to how I was. I feel more confident about myself now. I hit, I hit rock bottom yesterday. You don't need to know that. But not today and not tomorrow. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I'm coming back around. There's just a little bit more colour today than there was yesterday, the day before. Which is good. It means I'm coming back. So, next week will be better. But until next week... But until next week... I should catch you later! Oh, I, I got Cards Against Humanity today, so filming that soon. Okay, bye. <laughs>